Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a premium CPU cooler from Noctua, the NHD14. This is a special edition kit for the Intel socket CPU, the LGA 2011 socket. Here is the kit with all the different fan cables and connectors, extensions and things like that, and the bracket for the Intel LGA 2011 socket CPUs. You'll need a long screwdriver, okay? And that's pretty much it. If you want to know more details about the CPU, please click my other video link. Okay, I go through this more in detail, but this is a six heat pipe CPU, dual fan, uh, dual radiator configuration. The uh, hardware kit is simple, straightforward, easy. You can't go wrong to install it on your LGA 2011 socket CPU uh, here from Intel. Just locate the four uh, holes that come already on the board. Put in the four screws that it came with. Okay, those little uh, hex screws that you can see there. And then after that, next thing you're going to do is determine how you're going to place this heat sink in there. And here are the specifications if you're wondering about that. 160 millimeters high, okay, in case you're wondering about the height. I have it faced this way, okay, from right to left. And in order to put that in, I need to put the uh, two brackets at the bottom as such okay you see how I placed that in there on those two holes and then the notch in the center is going to basically allow us to place the heatsink the CPU cooler on top but before we do that there's four thumb screws that we need to um, apply here on either corner to fasten the uh, the brackets okay so after you do that just tighten it a little bit more with the uh, screwdriver, but don't over tighten it. You don't want to damage things. Just a little bit, just to make sure that it's secured, not loose. That's all you all you need. Then get your uh, thermal grease out. Okay, the uh, kit comes with the NTH1 thermal compound um, that you can use. Obviously, if you have your own, that's fine. This one does a great job. I've reviewed this previously in my other video. Just put it pea size. Don't don't overdo it. But um, what I like to do is spread the thermal grease all around make a nice thin layer so that way when you place the CPU cooler on top it um, transfers the heat much better from the CPU to the CPU cooler base okay so um, in this case you know I just spread a very very thin layer all across and this has never failed me I've always gotten really good results because sometimes if you just put a little pea size uh, in the middle like a little circle it's not enough, right? It doesn't it doesn't catch every corner. So I like to use it all over. Next thing is take out the 140 millimeter fan that comes in there. It's just uh, clipped on. Just careful you don't uh, touch the uh, sharp edges there. It's pretty sharp on that um, the aluminum fins. Now um, align it and place it on top of the bracket. Get your screwdriver out and of course screw down those two screws onto the bracket. That's basically how it's gonna hold itself in place and it does a really good job this thing is not going anywhere as you can see nice and tight those two fans by the way 140 millimeter the one in the center and 120 millimeter is the one on the right and that's all you need okay very quiet if you wanted to take it out just unlatch it here on the side unlatch it on the opposite side and then pull it out okay don't forget these fans are connected as one okay it has a Y splitter or you can you can have them independently plugged in onto your motherboard if it has uh, two plugs for uh, CPU uh, fan headers, for example. So you can you know have this in different configurations. Your fans it comes with all the fan cables and extensions. So that's great that they've done that. I'll do benchmarks next on my part two of this video. This was just an installation tutorial review. Let me know what you think, guys. And I'd like to thank Nook Tua for providing it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.